Students in today's workplace are challenged by the fact that it goes beyond just the classroom. The kinds of information that they learn in the outside world while still learning in the classroom combined makes a work experience and a classroom experience that will help them succeed the second they step off of campus. I think an interdisciplinary business approach to today's workplace is really needed and necessary because creativity is needed more than ever before. And creativity in many ways is, is nothing more than just combining things that are unexpected. The George Washington University's goals are best cried by President LeBlanc's articulation in the following aspirational statement that he has laid out, which is framed by our nation's capital and inspired by our namesake, George Washington. We want to be attaining preeminence as a comprehensive global research university. I think today's business school student really is seeking ways to stack their education and be more flexible with it for a variety of reasons. First of all, education is expensive. It's a huge investment and the idea of having a stackable educational experience enables the student to spread out that learning experience over time, spread the cost of learning over time, but have stopping points along the way where a credential can actually be earned and put on the resume until a terminal uh, degree is actually earned. The new version of education, the stackable idea, is an opportunity for students to explore while still pursuing a linear idea of what education should be. They can get on board with something they think is where they need to head and very quickly shift gears, make changes based on things they're learning in today's marketplace, what employers are asking for, or just a general interest change. And by the stackable certificates and different degrees that are there, they can come out on the end and graduate with something that is important to the workforce that may not have been the day they stepped on campus. We're all working longer than we used to, which means our learning needs are stretched out over a life course. And since the economy is changing so rapidly now, as we progress through that career, we often need to come back more than once to upskill or reskill. So take, for example, things that are hot today. The idea that people need more soft skills, even jobs where robots are taking over, so to speak. The truth is you still have people working with the machines, solving problems with the machines, innovating with the machines, and they're doing that together, often across different countries, speaking different languages. So soft skills are absolutely needed and necessary, and that's why we've built our graduate certificate programs with things like management and leadership, managing the digital organization, or managing human capital. Interdisciplinary courses are becoming ever more important. They were first of all always important, whether it is technology and business or whether it is health and business, there's a lot of innovation that is taking place. So it is very important to serve the students better by having such interdisciplinary courses, which are really going to be creating a lot of innovation. As uh, in the past, if people had those courses individually, they needed that time to be able to assemble and connect those two concepts. But with the fast changing technology and the pace, the speed is of essence. So the more we can actually deliver content at that intersection of different disciplines, the better we are serving students. I came into consulting straight out of business school through PwC and PwC Consulting got bought by IBM. Worked my way up to partner and it was actually through the partner role, long after I graduated, that I re-engaged with GW. Uh, the Fowler Career Center reached out to me. I was the IBM executive responsible for getting um, students excited about career opportunities at IBM and asked me to come in and talk to students, participate in uh, consulting panels, and then eventually asked me to come in and to teach a course that was an innovative course out of the Fowler Career Center that helps to prepare students for careers in consulting. So it bridges the gap between what they learn in the classroom and the skills needed in the marketplace. People also, I think, increasingly need more hard skills, particularly in the analytics field and the information systems and technology field. And that's why we've created graduate business certificates in things like cloud computing, machine learning, artificial intelligence, business analytics. 
But we've gone beyond just thinking about this from a certificate level to also down at course level. How can we design courses that really map back to today's marketplace needs? So we've designed new courses like managing the global virtual team or courses on impact investing. The idea is making sure that we are bringing business and our classrooms closer together. So one of the initiatives that the school is taking is called Communities of Practice. And essentially it's a community of support that surrounds a student that prepares them for market readiness. There are three aspects to the community of practice. The first is providing students with industry specific skills training that's delivered by industry professionals. The second is support through an alumni network where we invite mentors from industry who are former GW alum to come in and provide mentorship to our students. The third area is bridging the gap between industry and academia by providing pro bono projects for our students, where our students get the opportunity to work with employers on special projects and practice what they've learned in the classroom, showcase their talents in front of employers, and also build their resume with relevant experiences. Student preparedness has been benefited by our proximity to many different unique opportunities here in the Washington DC area. From the IMF, the World Bank, and just being in the nation's capital has allowed for experiential learning that cannot be reproduced really anywhere else in the world.